Right, how do you make your own Dacron connector? That is what I have come up with. This is my favorite Dacron connection. And what this does, it makes it more direct because we've got a much shorter bit of braid there. And that, for me, is absolutely perfect, giving you direct contact to the fish. Now, we're gonna make it from scratch. So that's the elastic coming out the top of the pole. We need a few different bits for this. Firstly, a new fish zip elastic bead. They come in different sizes. This is a medium, and it says on the back what sort of elastic rating. Now, this is actually a thicker elastic than it's rated, but they do work absolutely spot on, and I like them a little bit tighter. So, you get one of these, you get 10 in a packet, and really cheap as well, these are. So, you get a gated needle like that. I want, there's a thick end and a, there's a thick end and a little end of these beads. I'm gonna put the thick end on first. Right, so that's the thick ends on there. Now I put this elastic on the gated needle like that. And then we shut the gate of the needle. And then we put this, I put a little bit of saliva just to give it a moist in it just a little bit. And then we can just pull this bead onto the elastic. So that is now on the elastic. So that is the, the, the thinner end will be going up against the bush of this beautiful Daiwa top kit. Right, now in the last video I showed you sort of a standard kind of Dacron connector. I personally think they are far too long, so I make my own. Now this is Bank Tackle coated braid. I use the Bank Tackle one because it's really cheap, uh, but it needs to be, this is semi-stiff, um, 20 pounds. That's the one that I use. This is a Census loop tire. This is the small one. I've recently got a ringers one actually, and you want the small end if you're using the ringers one or the small one of the census one. And what we're gonna do is do a loop of my braid, and then we put the loop tire in there. We twist once, twice, and then the loop goes over there and then you can see that it all starts coming together and then you sort of pull it off like that and what should happen is one bit is going to be sort of left here then we're going to wet that and then we're going to pull it really tightly So what we've left with is a perfectly tied small loop. This is why I use the small one because it makes a beautiful little loop. We, I want the smallest Dacron that I can get away with. So we're gonna cut these two ends now. I leaves a little bit coming out. With is a beautiful little loop. That's our Dacron, absolutely tiny it is, and that's what we want. So we've already got our bead on here and we've just got to tie this elastic. So we've gone through the loop like that. And then we're going to do basically one loop. Then we're going to go round again, basically a double granny knot. And then we're going to put the tag end through this loop. And before we pull that tight, we're going to lube it up with a bit of saliva. Lubing this up with a bit of saliva, is absolutely vital. Now I'm holding the Dacron and I'm holding the main bit of the elastic. Then we're gonna pull tight, tight, tight. You can see it coming together. I'm gonna give it a bit more lubrication. And now we need to, ta to pull the tag end and we'll pull all of it together. But the tag end I'm gonna have to do in my teeth. That is never going anywhere. I can pull that as hard as I want. 
and it's all good. Now you can see you, there is no damage to that elastic. That's because I lubed it up and pulled it together really, really nicely. All we need to do is cut the tag end off. I always like to leave a few mil. It doesn't have to be really tight. Something like that. I don't think that has to be any tighter. Just, it's not gonna slip now because I pulled that pretty tight, but it's just nice to know. Now, this bead, we're gonna pull that up like that that is what we've ended up with a bead pulled up to this knot and we've got a tiny little dacron now if you compare that to the ready-made dacron that i mean there's hardly any resistance there when you catch a fish and then we're going to pull that up to the so now we'll pull that tight and you can see how that little bead goes up to the bush. That, in my opinion, if you want to use Dacron connectors, is the best way to do it and probably the cheapest. Please do give me a subscribe if you've got this far. Loads more little bits and bobs that I have learned from my few years of match fishing and hopefully it'll save you some time and catch you some more fish.